doing i up um I uploaded two new products on my website at www. Oh, thank you, Sunshine. www.sortoftheearthpub.org. And one is going to be a deodorant. I just posted a video for you. You'll probably see that after this here live. It's a video on a natural deodorant called Be Fresh. It's actually dehydrated key lime peel powder is the main ingredient in this particular deodorant. And it is not only is it organic and totally natural, but you could put it underneath your armpit or you could actually drink it as a tea, you know. So I chose this here as vitamin C because, you know, like key lime is really, really a natural de deodorant in itself. If you have a sliced key lime, you slice it in half and you put it underneath your armpit, you good for the whole day, right? Because key lime is jam packed with um, magnesium, which you need underneath your armpit. It's already slightly acidic like your skin is, which is the largest organ on your body. And it also has vitamin C, you know, it'll brighten up those dark spots underneath your armpit for you too. And it is good for detoxing. So with that information known, you know, I wanted to create something that was dry though. Because, you know, with me working out and wearing like athletic wear, you know, those little, um, you almost feel like it's kind of like silky materials, like, right? With that type of clothes on, you sometimes you want powder, you want something that'll dry it out, right? So I created um, this dehydrated uh, key lime peel powder and I'm selling it on my website and I suggest that you all go get some before I send out this email. <laughs> to my supporters on my newsletter which is a couple of thousands of people so i'm letting y'all know first before i even send hit send i'm sitting here right here now with the laptop about to send it to them and they're gonna jump on it where you from oh i'm from new orleans louisiana wow i have a video what wow i have a video on key lines for the order replacement yeah that oh Mr. Holistic Lifestyle. I love that name. Yes, it is. It's a natural deodorant replacement. You can either go to the store, get the real deal if that's what you want to do, or you can go online and purchase mine, which is the dehydrated form of it. It's going to be the powder. And this is what it looks like. It's called Be Fresh. And inside of it, I included a little um, finger puff for the powder. So that way, when you open it up and pull the seal back, the powder, the key lime powder will be here and all you have to do is dab this finger puff on it and put it under your armpit. Or you can just shake that sucker and put it under your armpit without the finger puff if you don't want to do it that way. I'm a little bougie like I was saying in the video so I like the little puff. I thought the puff was so cute. Y'all like the puff? <laughs> so anyway, it's in this little um, recyclable tube, you know, with my website and Be Fresh written on it. I know it is a great idea. This stuff work, y'all. I work out like, let me tell you now, I ain't just trying to get nobody money. Matter of fact, it's really, really inexpensive right now, too. So, y'all need to jump on it. I'm a so-called small business, so, I mean, ain't got no web warehouse. So, that means <laughs> ain't gonna be that many hundreds of them. But I did make a lot. So, anyway, I go to the gym. I work out. I golf. I take classes. I do Zumbo, I do cycling, I do ultimate fitness thing, I do conditioning, I do weights, a job, I sweat is what I'm trying to say. And this stuff holds me all day. Then I have teenage children. This stuff holds my children all day. And then it's good for them children too. These children should not be having aluminum on, underneath their armpit, you know, in baking soda, which is highly alkaline. You know, we got to make sure that what we're putting on our skin and that is absorbing inside of our body is not making us even more toxic. We are not pigs. We should not be using antiperspirants to clog up our pores where we have a gang of lip noise or underneath our armpit. We shouldn't be clogging that up because those lip noise are supposed to be running around the body looking for toxins to release out of you. But if you're putting a whole bunch of toxins on top of the lip noise already, you making it do more work than it needs to. Not only that, what I noticed about this here is in the beginning of taking it, 
it does a detox effect on the body, right? It allows for circulation in the body. You know those people that have like leaky, leaky gut syndrome that have like yeast and bacteria and fungus that's inside of their abdominal cavity that's like falling out? It's it's the perfect thing for them because it allowed that them to release the burden off of the kidneys and allow them to have proper bowel movements. You know those people that are full of S-H-I-T, literally? Yeah, it allowed that bowel to move, irritable bowel syndrome, because it's stimulating circulation, it's cleansing the blood, so you're going to begin to go to the bathroom. Right, and so then the body is in a position to heal itself once you give it the things that it needs. We're not supposed to be stinking, y'all. We're not our bowel movement not supposed to be foul and toxic. It's foul and toxic when we have an overload of toxicity inside of the body, and it's trying to get out. And oftentimes we'll have all of this yeast and parasite and, and fungus that's accumulating. Then you don't fool with it. You leave it alone, thinking all is well, knowing your mental way up to part to heal yourself and then it sit there and it become a tumor. You sit there, it was, well first it was like mucus and then it turned into a cyst and then it got hard and it turned into like a tumor. And then now they're saying, oh, it's cancerous. Your ass is toxic. Your ass ain't got no circulation going on inside that. Your ass done stuff yourself. You done put too much up in here, too much negative thoughts up in here and you done clogged this here up too much and now it's all packed, jam packed. And you walking around full of that. This is the perfect thing for you because it's detoxing. And key limes are already known to, to um, get rid of lactic acid buildup and to be good for the kidneys. You know, it's already known to be alkaline, I mean, to be acidic in your mouth, right? And then when you digest it, it turned into an alkaline substance, alkalizing the body at the same time. This is something that you need to jump on. If I were you, and I sell stuff, and I could be promoting my most expensive product. This is really inexpensive, the least expensive product on my website. And I'm sharing this with you out of love because of the simple fact that you need to do a detox in your body. If you got a protruding belly, you need this here deodorant. If you smell underneath your armpit after taking a shower immediately and you got a wet deodorant, you need to put this here type of deodorant on. If you have irritable bowel syndrome, you need this because you need circulation. If you have, if you are anemia, that means you're low on iron, right? You have iron in heat lines, baby. If you are tired all the time, you're sleepy, right? Your muscles are aching. You have a lactic acid buildup, key lime, take care of that. You low on magne magnesium, that relaxes the muscles, that helps you get good sleep. Matter of fact, every organ in your body need magnesium, all, every last one of them need magnesium to properly function, right? You need some key limes in your life. And guess what? If you don't want to put it underneath your armpit, guess where else you can put it? In your tea? Because you could drink this. I bet you you can't put nothing in your mouth that you put underneath your arms. Otherwise, in your glass of tea. So none of that deodorant from Walmart, none of them deodorants even from Whole Foods store can top something as natural as key lime peel powder as a natural deodorant. You cannot drink them. You cannot eat the other ones or something will happen to your tongue. And that should be an identifier right there. If you cannot eat it, it should not be on your body, <laughs> okay? Be, be that personal with your body and your hygiene. Man, if it's gonna make my tongue swell up, if I make a mistake and lick my armpit, not to say that that's a mistake because that'll be you wanting to do it. But if I make a mistake and lick my, if my baby make a mistake and lick my deodorant, what's gonna happen to him? If you have this one, nothing. They're gonna have minerals. They body gonna be detoxing. They're gonna have magnesium. They're gonna have real vitamin C in their system. But if it's a solid deodorant, nope, they're gonna have aluminum up in there. They're gonna have all kind of dyes up in there, different fragrances up in there that's toxic. They're gonna have probably baking soda up in there. And it's gonna be not the proper pH balance. Okay? So that's what I came on today for to preach about my deodorant. <laughs> Yes, because I want y'all to be able to benefit from it. Oh, Lord, I missed a whole lot of comments. My goodness, let me see. What y'all talking about up in here? 
Okay, where are you from? I saw that one. I love a beautiful woman without all them tattoos. Oh, okay, user. I'm glad that I didn't have a bunch of tattoos. That mean you wouldn't gonna love me? <laughs> I think you perfect. No matter how many tattoos you have or don't have. How about you do that? How about you still love people with tattoos? I'll have to look before I get my email. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello. Hey, Purpose. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. Purpose, you got to check out my deodorant if you're still here because I've been running my mouth for a minute just going through the comments. Check out my deodorant. That's something that you in alignment with, with your detoxes and stuff. Check out my deodorant. I have deodorant, lotion, soap, beard oils. Yeah. Check it out. Let's see. Oh, thank you for the rose to purpose. Yeah, Mr. Holistic said he loves it. Yeah, that's right up your alley. I know you was going to love it. Hey, gems from the gods. Peace and blessings. Yeah, teach them, please. Oh, you still here? He said, teach them, please. I am. I'm teaching about the avatar because we got to take care of the body. We talk about consciousness, but consciousness is about being conscious of all things. It's about knowing within and the outside, you know? It's about your mind. It's about your health. It's a whole lifestyle. It don't stop, you know, it don't rather start just with knowing about melanin and all my melanin popping and knowing about energy and increasing your frequency. It goes to what you're eating, what you're thinking, what you're putting on your body, the people that you're hanging around, all of your reflections. It goes according to everything that you can see or experience in your kingdom, right? So we can't miss any part of this conscious journey. Let's see, just got here. What are we talking about, please? Hey, Mary Plus. We were talking about my new deodorant, which is actually dehydrated key lime peel powder. I just put it up on my website and I was sharing with people the benefits of natural key lime powder versus the toxic deodorants that are in the Walmarts of the world. Even some, even though it's in Whole Foods store, don't mean that everything in Whole Foods store is organic. Some are even there too, but it don't get no natural than here, this here. Dehydrated key lime peel powder, a natural source from nature is what we're talking about here. Yes, see yeah yeah love the accent oh okay i have been making my own deodorant for at least six months it's oily oh okay well this is dry this is a powder <laughs> they don't have any oils on here and sometimes the oils you know the oils need to be balanced with some type of citrus fruit some oils are really high alkaline like say for example um coconut oil coconut oil is a ph of eight it's way way up there so if it's at a pH level of eight, then your skin is slightly acidic. So you gotta buffer that down with some type of citrus oils, even with that in mind, to bring that pH level down. If not, you're gonna be sweating a lot. If not, there's other people out there that's um, really against coconut oil for the simple fact that it can clog up the pores. So it's kind of, coconut oil is kind of like still dealing with a regular deodorant. You know, it's still like dealing with an antiperspirant, so to speak, because it's clogging up the pores too. So there's some oils that are, you know, that are lower than coconut oil. I hope you're not putting that one on there by itself. Coconut oil is good internally, yes, because some places like your saliva, for example, your saliva is alkaline. So in the mouth, when you're doing oil pulling and stuff like that, coconut oil is really, really good for that, right? It's good in your digestive system because once it digests, you know, it'll leave an alkaline ash inside of you, like, right? But there, just because your saliva is, is alkaline, it doesn't mean every part of you down past your um, esophagus is alkaline. Because see, like in your stomach, your stomach is more acidic. So once food gets into your stomach, which is acidic, your stomach needs hydrochloric acid to keep it being acidic right so imagine this being your stomach inside of your stomach if you don't have fire so to speak from hydrochloric acid and you get that from your proper salts your pink himalaya sea salts like that right if you don't have this acid inside of your stomach then that means that your stomach is not powerful enough to break down your food so inside of it you need the acids to break down the food. If you don't have the acids or the fire below in your gut, in your gut, 
then that means that burger that you ate is gonna sit up in there. It's gonna be like something inside of the gut, just chilling. Like, right? So we're gonna use this receipt. So now you got this burger inside the gut, just chilling in there, because you don't have enough hydrochloric acid. You could get that by simply putting a little pinch, a pink Himalaya sea salt underneath the tongue and allowing it to be absorbed. You can build up hydrochloric acid easily like that. But the people that don't have hydrochloric acid, for example, in their gut, these people might be trying to um, take maybe pepto more because what they're experiencing right here is like a burning sensation. You know, and they think because the burning sensation is there, it's on fire. No, that's your gut pretty much saying, hey, I need more fire. <laughs> Stop giving me Pepto-Bismol. Give me the fire that I am looking for. And you can only find that fire when you give me my salt. So I can make enough fire to break down this here burger that you put in here. If you don't help me to break down this burger that I put inside of here with my proper salts, not my white toxic salt that doesn't have all of its min minerals, my colored salt, which has hues of minerals, that's why I say pink Himalaya salt. If you don't give me that, I'm not going to break down this burger for you. And what's going to happen is I'm going to make you feel it. Every time you belt, I'm going to make you taste it, let you know, hey, the burger's still here. Because our body is really infinite intelligence. It will tell us what it is lacking. It might sound crazy, but just think about it this way. When we are sweating profusely, sometimes it's an indicator that we're dehydrated. Well, when your esophagus is burning, it's an indicator that it does not have enough acids. It's almost like the body will just spew out the little bit uh, that it don't have to tell you, hey, I need more of this. It's giving you an indicator. So I'm going to spew out a whole bunch of sweat at one time to let you know that you're dehydrated. <laughs> I'm going to spew out a whole bunch of fire in your esophagus to let you know that I need some more salt so I can digest food properly. So we don't pay attention to the signs of our body. And there's often people, even going back to the deodorant, they don't pay attention to the signs that their body is tired of the antiperspirant clogging them up. They'll think, this because they're sweating more, they'll think, oh, I must need to put a little bit more on. So then they'll pack their armpit even a little bit more with deodorant when the body is saying, no, 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 I'm toxic enough. No, 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 I'm trying to let some of this stuff out. This is where the lip noise are really powerful at. They're abundant right here. They're abundant underneath your armpit. They're abundant around your throat area and around here in your like growing or pelvic region area. They're abundant right there. And so when you start or we start putting things this is why i always say about the perfume stop putting perfumes all on your neck you know put that stuff on your clothes and in your hair you know stop jam packing the antiperspirant underneath here how is your body going to be able to release it's supposed to release but the thing about it is your sweat is not supposed to sink when it is sinking it's letting you know that hey there's a whole lot to release you know, even in your growing area, back in the day, they used to put the little Johnson and Johnson powder in the um, everywhere on the chairs. You know, when you get out the out the shower, that was just the thing you put on. You put some powder on you. When I was a little girl, they used to tell us, you know, to put powder in your drawers. You know, the Johnson and Johnson. Well, now it's being discovered that the ingredients in that product, which is basically chemicals, has, is one of the leading causes, there's actually a lawsuit out about it, of causing cancer, like, right? So, <laughs> I make my products based upon people that I know that have been through certain things, certain sicknesses and diseases, and to help them to um, find ease or get over that particular dis-ease and dis imbalance, right? And so not only did I just recently create the deodorant, but I also created a powder too. It's called BPH Balance. And that's for the women who have those. She just ordered hers. Oh, thank you, Miss B. You're going to love it. I know. I know. I bought it. I have been looking for some healthy deodorant for a month now. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, and Pamela, I was supposed to um, tag you. I was thinking about you earlier. I was sure going to let you know. 
And so not only did I make this here, but I also made a BPH balance one. Now that one is key lime, but it's also a proprietary blend of other herbs to balance the vagina because the vagina is the same way. You know, just like the armpit, the vagina is slightly acidic. The vagina, you can't be putting all kinds of things inside the vagina. Now the vagina could get out of whack when you go swimming, when you have sex more than one time a day because semen is alkaline. It can get out of whack, like I said on my last video, when we put in all those those little honeys and you think he need to go down there and lick on the lollipop and he got a liquid whipped cream and cherries and pineapple, all that nasty stuff you be doing down there with the vagina. The vagina can't take that. The vagina can't take all of that stuff there, especially when you're not putting the right soaps on there that are pH balanced to bring it back to balance. Now my pH balance powder with the herbs and the key lime in it, all you have to do is put that just like a Thing after you wash and dry that area, just like a finger touch of that on the inner folds, like a, right above the clitoris, like right, right at the hood of the vagina. You don't have to insert that in your vagina. You just put it right there after you shower. You can use it as powder in your liner of your underwear, underwear too, but that is going to get the vagina back in its proper um, range. And immediately after you put it right there, you do not insert it because I don't believe in putting stuff inside of it besides the penis, right? And so after you put it there, you're going to feel the vagina work because you got to give the body the things that it needs to clean itself out. The vagina itself is already a self-cleaning organ. So when you put it there, you're gonna feel like discharge and like a sense of calmness, right? And so then your body is going, your vagina pretty much, is going into detox mode. So all of those lip noises right there, the gang of lip noise that I was talking about right there, they're getting this here urgency to want to release. So the discharge, the yeast, fungus, bacteria, whatever you have, if you have anything in there, it's going to start coming out. You do not need to do all of this extra stuff that they be telling you to put, put garlic, don't put garlic in your vagina. Please don't do that to your vagina. Garlic, I, I, garlic, you put, if you cut some garlic in half right now, there's something called, uh, I think it's pronounced alcillian, alcillian. Anyway, it is the garlic juice. You cut it in half and that juice will burn your skin if you set a garlic cut in half, a clove on your skin. If you sit it there too long, it will burn it. I'm talking about the layers of the skin. So just think about that. You stuff a garlic in your vagina, your vagina already sensitive. You will burn your vagina. Don't do that. Don't ever put garlic in your vagina. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Some of the things that they say to put inside of your vagina, even the boric acid, even the, the baking soda and all kind of things, those things are really irritating to the vagina. Do natural things. Do natural things. And when you do the natural things, don't insert it ever in there. The closest to it is on the hood of the vagina because that'll irritate it even the more if you stick in something in there. Because when the vagina cleans, it cleans and pulls stuff to come out on its own. It know how to do what it gotta do. It knows how to retract and release. It, anytime it knows how to retract to bring the whole human out as you push, of course, every time that you breathe, every time that you're running, it's, it's moving. It's circulating on its own. You give it the right herbs and it'll release chunks of fungus, yeast, parasites, or whatever you want to come out upon your command. But you gotta give it the right thing though. You gotta know what to give it and where to give it. And that don't mean sticking nothing up in, in there. You, the body is not really designed for us to be unzipping it, contrary to what some people do. Unzip the body, go in there, and move stuff around. No. You're supposed, you're supposed to put stuff in here or topically on your skin intravenously to get things flowing. And, and I know some of y'all like the quick fixer-ups, you know, with surgeries and all of that, but our body's really not designed for all of that hard-ass, treacherous-ass, <laughs> invasive-ass stuff. <laughs> it's really not. It could all be so simple. It could be so simple. Let's see. Okay. Hi, Najeri. 
thank you for being here. So I had never listened to those things. Yeah, hey, yeah. So I, I don't either. And you could kind of have discernment on these th different things. Like when you see people doing that, when you hear it, your first instant, you follow that instant. When something tells you, your inner being tells you, no, girl, you better not put no damn garlic up in there. You listen to that because your internal GPS is always telling you what to do and what not to do. Yeah, you'll be on fire. But yeah, that's where I've been. I've been busy trying to get that um, those products up to date and, and perfect for you all because I know they were and I want you all to experience it for yourself and be in alignment from head to toe. So you won't have to be itching, twitching and bitching for no reason. So you don't have to be walking around wishing somebody would because this helps you, these type of things. I, I create these things out of fun, you know, because I love it and I'm, I know so much about it. I wrote a book about it and I have all of this knowledge and so I want to put it to use. But these type of things really help you on your conscious journey. It goes hand in hand because of the simple fact that you can't really focus well when you are cramping, when you can't see, you know, your eyes messed up because your stomach is messed up because, you know, your gut and, your, and everything in your head is intertwined, you know, everything is connected. And so when you're cramping and you're sick and you're, and you're trying to find the right this and, you, and your soap is messing up your skin and, 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 you know, you got headaches and you're depressed, all of that stuff matters on your conscious journey. And so it's hard for you to meditate. It becomes more challenging for you to be able to go within because you, within is so chaotic, you know? And so that's why I created this Just Be Line for those type of people, for they for them to have a go-to of some products that are organic, that's going to soothe them and ease their pains in the physical so you can focus on your spiritual essence, so you can remember that you're God all over again, you know? Yeah. Head into website now. Okay, okay, okay. Go check it out. Go check it out. It is available on sale on my website. And before I sent it to my newsletter, which is thousands of people, and I sell out in seconds, I just wanted to tell it to y'all. Now you sleep on it. And look, you know who the manager is over here? Me. You know who shipping and receiving is? Me. <laughs> Now you sleep on it and you don't see it available for the next day or so, then you just go have to wait because I got about 18 other products and I'm telling you now about it and you should have what? I think I put it on there for what? $6.99? You should have $6 today. You, you, I, I don't know what you're doing in your kingdom, God, if you ain't got $6 today. I don't know what's going on in your kingdom. <laughs> I'm driving to my appointment. Keep talking now. I'm driving. Keep talking. You are so funny, Miss B. So kind of off topic. What um does wheat prevent the body from becoming alkaline? Wheat. Uh, wheat. Mm. Wheat is mostly in the breads, so I would say it causes it to be stagnated. Um. Yeah, pretty much, because it turns into mucus, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, and in moderation, I believe that it is okay because only because I practice um, the idea that all is mine, all is mental. Now you can program your mind as if it's beneficial for you and do it in moderation if you want to keep it in your diet. But, um, but yeah, in the physical reality, according to the matrix, yeah, it's more, mostly aesthetic, like the breads, the pastas, yeah. But they have some people who believe that it is good for them and they're not getting sick from it is all I'm saying. So you can trump it by thought because whatever you believe becomes law to you and your kingdom, God. But yeah, the wheats, they're, they're in the same order with the so-called gluten, which is glue and so we have glue and wheat and then we have high fructose, fructose corn syrup most often did not in that same ingredient of whatever it is we're, we're purchasing in that area in that category and those things become really stagnated in our physical reality so a lot of people try to get away from 
the so-called wheat or the breads. Yeah, I just started taking oat muscle for carbs. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, did you look on the back? They had a lot of uh, content of it on the back. Yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't really care for those, um, those uh, supplements at all. I have some teenage boys who went down that way with those for muscle and stuff. So that's how I, why I educated myself more about it. And what I tell them, what I got them on rather, was incorporating more coconut oils as a pre-workout for them. Because if you notice, a lot of those little supplements that they sell, they'll even try to, you know, incorporate a coconut oil. Coconut oil is healthy fats, and it's a carb, so to speak, for them to burn off when they go. The only ingredient is oats. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. Something that'll stick to you. Yeah. That sounds good. Just as long as you don't have a whole bunch of the ingredients. Yeah, if you need something to stick to, yeah. But at the same time, if you're going to do that, I would still say incorporate some... Um, coconut oil and some key limes you know to make it come out you know because the oats stick to you but you don't want something because you could always see, see we're just transforming energy if you're going to do it even if i was to eat some bread with more ingredients than that after always after i eat some bread which i don't normally eat bread much at all if i do eat bread i'm gonna drink me some key lime um egg that i make and inside of my key lime egg i have agave key lime and some co liquid coconut oil why is that because the coconut oil is gonna loosen all of that it's gonna give me healthy fats that agave is gonna give me my pre uh, probiotic inside of my gut and then I got the key line that's going to wash away. It's going to be that um, acetic, but then it turns into alkaline and it's going to make me more alkaline in the inside. So even though those oats are acetic, that key line drink is going to get that stuff moving and make my foundation healthy again. You see what I'm saying? And so that's what I would do. I mean, if, if that's what you want to do, just drink a key line made drink afterwards. But I, would, I told my sons, you know, do the coconut oil as a pre-workout thing and it helps with and it helps with muscles, you know, because you're looking for amino acids really in your um, workout, you know, the, the amino acids help with the muscle, it helps with the endurance, it helps with the calories, so to speak, that they need to burn off in the gym. So I got them on that because that other stuff had them shaking and stuff, and I was looking at them ingredients, and I'm like, dude, what is you doing with your life? <laughs> but oats, if it's only oats, that sounds really cool. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you could always transform the energy of whatever it is that you're eating, knowing that, hey, well, I'm going to eat these oats, but I'm going to give me some coconut oil after this, and it's going to be all right, and it's going to come out, and whatever. Yeah, but it is aesthetic, though. <laughs> <laughs> it is just like coffee but people still drink it in the morning i never i drank coffee one time and that was to save my life because i was on the road on a 32 hour trip and i couldn't um go to sleep we were almost there and i drank me some coffee and it helped me drive my last little round but i had been a virgin to coffee and boy it gave me that little burst or whatever to go that little last little round that I needed. And I said to myself, oh, I see why people drink this stuff. It's like an energy booster, so to speak. But um, but I just don't like getting addicted to supplements or, you know, caffeines and stuff like that. I don't like the idea of ever being addicted to anything. I, that's a, that goes against my law that I set up for me. It's like no attachments, like, so to speak, like, right? I don't think that's a balance when you're addicted to certain thing, you know, that, that I don't, I don't want to operate like that in my physical reality. But hey, everybody different though. But anyway, that's what I wanted to come on for to talk about the um. Oh, and uh, you could, you could, Mr. Truth, you could get some key lime peel powder. I mean, I'm talking about it as a deodorant, but baby, it's organic, dehydrated key lime peel. So you could still buy some, even if you're not using it for deodorant, you use it after you eat them darn oats. You put it in your tea. You All you gotta do, the same deodorant container, put it inside of your drink, drink it, get them, get that um, aesthetic 
range out of there and get a more alkaline range from key lime peel powder because key limes they go down acidic but when they get to that stomach where it's already acidic and it already has that hydrochloric acid it leaves that ash and the stomach is like a buffer right and it's transforming that acidic key lime into an alkaline ash and then it goes down to the large and the small intestines where those oats probably just could be possibly chilling and sticking to the walls of the intestine. That key lime being alkaline, rush that stuff out of here and you have proper bowel movements and you'll be good. So you need some key lime peel powder now, Mr. Truth. Yep, I don't I don't figure out a way that you need it. You need to drink it. <laughs> oh my God, Maldextrin. Maldextrin. Is in, oh, I thought he said it's in my, it's in most supplement and it's nothing but sugar, very high. Yes. Oh, I thought you were saying that was what you was taking. I was about to say, baby, stop. Maldextrin is not good for them kidneys. Oh my God. Maldextrin is in a lot of things, a lot of sweets. It's in a lot of potato chips. Oh, it's in the best potato chips, but it will tear up your kidneys. They got this little, um, this little drink, pure, pure oxygen, I think it's called. It's like a powder. It's available on Amazon. And it's like sugar is the first ingredient and malt dextrin is like the next ingredient. I mean, jam pack. It's just a white powder, a, a nothingness that's destroying people. And why did this have to be in potato chips? Why does it have to be in your little workout supplements? I don't understand why. It, well, I know, I know it's money, it's shortcuts, it's, it's fillers. Yeah, but you got to watch out for that more dextrin though because it's really hard on your kidneys and your liver actually if you overindulge in those type of things. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see what you say here. Yeah. Yeah, I sell it on my website. Um, my link is in my bio. If you click on my picture, you'll be able to see it. That one is called um, Be Fresh. Yeah. Order please. Oh, thank you, Miss Sunshine. I was for almost a year. I stopped once I researched it. Yeah, yeah, I did a transformation course on my website years ago. That must have been maybe about 10. It's still available for purchase, but I was going through the grocery stores and I was researching about all the, you know, ingredients and stuff. And man, see, once you know those things, see, I wanted to educate myself on the whys. And when I wanted to talk to myself on why, I'm not consuming, you know, milks and the cheeses and the certain potato chips or whatever. Cause I was trying to teach myself what it was made of and tell myself, okay, why do you really want this here? So if I wanted potato chips, I, I became aware that my body is really just telling me that it needs its salts. So I need to incorporate something now with my pink Himalaya sea salt. So if I wanted something sweet, it was like an indicator now with my new thoughts that my body is just telling me it needs my beneficial bacteria. It needs something sweet. So that's when I went to my dates and my, um, my sweet tamarinds and my agaves, like, right? So I transformed my thinking that way. But in the meantime, I was studying those other toxic ingredients as well as the lotions and the soaps. That's why I quit. I quit buying them toxic ingredients in soaps and lotions and shampoos. I cleaned out my cupboard for all of the um, cereal and potato chips. I went cold turkey and cleaned out my freezer with all of the pork and everything. And I started to scratch like, making food from what they had in the front of the store with the fruits and the vegetables the nuts and the seeds and the herbs and i went on a whole vegan experience and so all of them things i know about and i've researched already and that's why i don't buy commercial nothing i make my own detergent <laughs> i make my own everything i make my own toothbrush i mean my own toothbrush my own toothpaste i make my own everything Mm -mm. You ain't gonna have me, uh-uh, nope. Cause you don't know, not, that, not to say that I don't trust anybody, but I know everything that I put in every product that I make. And some people like feelers. Some companies like feelers and short 
cuts like maltodextrin. Even when I worked in the food industry, I was about to do a food truck. And when I was going to the store, they have this place, the restaurant depot place, where they sell for bulk the people who own restaurants and food trucks and stuff like that. Right? So I would frequent shop, frequently shop there even down to the oils that they use at restaurants. This is why I would rather cook myself. I mean, I do go out to dinner sometimes at restaurants, but I prefer, I prefer to cook for myself because all the restaurants go to this restaurant depot stop and their bulk oils that they use from there, or peanut oils, canola oils, sunflower oils, they don't even have over there in bulk the avocado oils that are good for high heating points, all of the rest of them oils run rancid and cause people with brain sickness and stuff. It's really toxic to your brain, especially canola oil. They have this place called the Pita Pit. They make healthy sandwiches, but they use canola oil. It's like, what are you doing frying with that? Because it's cheap. Because it's easy to attain, you know, and so I was like, man, when I get my food truck, I'm not buying that. Even if I have to bring up my cost, I refuse to indulge in that and give back to people because I know better. And that's how I am with my products right now. I refuse to put something out there. Y'all just going to have to say, oh, all this stuff high. But guess what? Guess what, though? It's going to heal you. Guess what though? It's gonna be right for your body. It ain't gonna be running rancid inside of your head. You ain't gonna be walking around wishing nobody would. You're gonna sleep well when you put my products on your body. You're gonna wanna keep on ordering them. You're gonna see the benefit. I try to be as, 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 as affordable as possible, you know, to be able to reach people. I do sales and stuff, but what I will not do ever is put some toxic ingredient up in there to stretch no product for you. No, because my children use this stuff. My mama used this stuff. I use this stuff. And I care about me. Y'all know I love me some me. My universe is all about me. Because life happens through me. And I'll be damned if I'm going to do something that I wouldn't do to myself, to my reflections. No, y'all just going to have to complain. Oh, it's high. Oh, well, you better wait and catch it on sale. Because it's going to make you feel good, though, when you do buy it. <laughs> well, I don't want my name on it. You know how some people, they oversell their little brand to somebody else? And then a thing changed, like Shea Moisture. They done did it. They done, them white people don't care about black people like that. But other chemicals? I ain't gonna do that. When I'm done, when I'm done, if they don't keep my stuff like I had my stuff, ain't gonna be no selling. Or oh, I'll close the damn business down because I'm not doing that to my reflection. It ain't about money for me. This is what I love to do. I come up in this kitchen and I just turn the music on and I make stuff and I'm just so excited and I'm talking to my ancestors and I'm dancing and I'm on a love frequency. I love that part. I be sitting up there looking at the stuff. I don't even do ads and commercials and all of that stuff. I be like, look, you and that. That's what I call my universe, my subconscious mind. I be like, look, you and that. Send these people over here. You know what I got? Like, I'm not no salesperson. I don't believe in all of that doing. I, I walk out the door, I went to the gym the other day and people was talking to me like, well, what do you do? And oh my gosh, we never knew that. Give me your card. And all of them people bought for me. You know, that's how it happens. Like, you know, you ain't got to be doing all that stuff. You could just be being, you know. And so my neighbors now, my new neighbors now, my new community, they know about me already. And they buying. Y'all listening to me still talking. Y'all buying. I got a newsletter with thousands of people. Those people buying. I don't have to be coming on here with all that. I come on here really to inspire people, but I want y'all to know what I do sometimes too. But, the, but my gift, my gift gonna make room for me. And I'm not gonna deviate from my gift, from my passion, for no dollar, for putting no, no feelers in there to stretch a product. No, I make the best product. I use the expensive shit. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell you, I got some lavender oil up in my product. My lavender oil costs $217 just for the lavender oil. Why? Because I put it on my body. <laughs> and every time I use that particular product, I want the $217 lavender oil, not the $9.99 lavender oil. <laughs> That's how I love on me. <laughs> I know y'all didn't act for all that, so let me look at the comments. Let's see. Let's see. That was funny. Coming back for the consultation soon, baby. I need that. Yes, Miss Sunshine. It'd be good to talk to you, babe. 
Yes, yeah, see. Let's see. You should do a YouTube show. You have too much knowledge that everyone needs to hear. Yeah. I upload my videos to YouTube. I've been doing this for a long time. I do have a lot of knowledge up in here, though. And then I get so many downloads from hmm, my ancestors, my guru. He, he, he's always with me when I'm in my zone of creating my products. And he tells me what works. He does. I love him so much. But, um, yeah. I'll look into that. There's so much I want to do because I really want to go out the country and, and, and um, become a um, certified um, a certified in meditations because I want to start doing that here in Arizona too. There's so much I want to do. I just be having fun with what I can do when I can do it. But I, I really don't want to have any t attachments to, you know, trying to, you know, make a YouTube strong or whatever. Let them catch it, as, you know, when they come through, when they become on a feed or whatever because energy is always in motion for when they need it and we're attracting through energy too i, I used to have a job you know for 22 years some of y'all know me from that video of retiring from that job and i made a promise to myself that i'm never going to do anything that really felt like work again i wanted to go with flow and so i'm going with flow one day i'm working out one day i'm meditating one day i'm consultations one day you know i'm whatever just being and i want to do that for the rest of my life go with flow because flow is going to lead me directly where i want to be flow ain't never steered me wrong and so it's a lot of things i want to do and i do them when flow is there and i don't think about them ever when flow is not there because <laughs> just like y'all listen to me there are people out there that are my reflections that's going to be the ones that put me in other positions and say wait we need you over here and that's going to be flow and i'll just go in that flow and that's going to be perfect but yeah thank you thank you thank you for you know recommending that yeah you are the true definition of a conscious being yeah i tell everyone i know about you oh thank you so much true i appreciate that oh Thank you, Pamela, too. Integrity, God bless you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, definitely. Somebody got to have it. Okay, bye, everyone. At my apartment. Okay, thanks, Miss Being So. Thank you for being here. Order placed. Okay, you got one, too, Miss In Jerry. Thank you so much. Thank you all for being here. Oh, hey, Gina. Thank you. Have you been to Sedona? Sedona, baby. I was just over in Sedona over the weekend. Hell yeah. I love Sedona. Oh my God, yes. I've been in. I am the vortex. I brought the vortex to Sedona. Okay, I love it. Yeah, and I went to Slide Rock. Dude, they had this um, water out there. It was like 50 degrees. It was so beautiful. It was like in between two rocks, like, and then it was a slide in the middle. It was so slippery and freezing cold, but it was hot outside at the same time. And you could have a, like a little picnic and stuff i spent majority of my day out there sedona is so beautiful but let me tell you though driving out there being that i come from new orleans louisiana which is below sea level to go to sedona which is like five thousand elevation oh my god man they have some steep mountains out there i'll be like oh uni you didn't show your way so it's like when you created this one here yeah man sometimes like when you turn like imagine being the rock is here you're in the car and you're turning and all of this here right here is the five thousand elevation that you just kind of like came from like and it was like oh my god the nothingness <laughs> the nothingness is right there right there but i'm right here and the nothingness is right there Oh my God, it's so beautiful, but yet it's so high. But anyway, the energy there is amazing. It is so amazing. The people there, the people there, I feel like some of them don't even know what they tap into. It's so powerful, you know? But yeah, I love Sedona. That's where I'm going to be doing my retreats at in Sedona. I was making contacts and, you know, looking around for my upcoming retreat out there. So yeah, I'll be there all the time. Let's see. Hello, my Dion. Hey, hey, hey. Dion, I was talking about a new product that I have on my website today. I went to a UFO tour and saw the 
portals. It was wild. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you want to come? I'm gonna have to tag you, um, Sunshine, when I do my um, when I post my dates. I was getting locations. I really wanted us to be like in like a mansion, like um, Airbnb kind of like really big bougie place where we all can meet in a common area and do meditation the sound bowl healing uh you know yoga positions eat some of my uh, vegan food that i cook and um do consultations or whatever you know dance and listen to music and um tune forks and and um living in the end of the wish for few all of that good stuff man so yeah when i get my date that's what I want to plan and so we can go hiking also into the mountains and look at nature and go to the vortexes and take pictures and do whatever we want to do for an appointed time. That's my goal. I'm getting there. But anyway, um, yeah, you are so welcome to come, Miss Sunshine. I didn't major an experience there. I met my higher self. Oh, yeah. Because like when you're in Sedona, like really you can attain this position anywhere you are. Because God can be God anywhere. But I feel like your environment, once you get out of your regular environment, where you already have these program thoughts like, look at my neighbor who like to talk. Or look at such and such who like to do this. And this, this is always this. You already have those thoughts about this here thing. So getting away from this environment here and going to another new experience, you bring new fresh thoughts and it's your conscious. Man, when I went out there for the first time, I was like, oh my God, I had pure, positive, beautiful thoughts out there. It was the most amazing thing. Like at night, even though I'm not like one of them Beckers that will go and see what the noise is at night. <laughs> But still, the nighttime with all the animals and the little weird noises in the woods, it was still energetically pleasing, you know? The animal, there wasn't, like, I seen this thing, I forget what they call it, but it looked like a black pig. And they had families of them, like, right? So, it was like they were in a little group, like, is what I mean. And they walked at nighttime and they just looked. And they look at each other and they just keep on walking. They looked at us. That's it. They they not wild. Even the coyotes, they weren't wild. The bunny rabbits were just hopping like they was hopping on love. It was just the most beautiful thing. Nature, oh, the beautiful um, birds, beautiful colors. Everything was just so beautiful. The rich soil looking golden. Oh my God. It's like heaven. You know, I don't believe that Jesus was the physical aspect of some people may believe it but if there was a physical essence to that biblical text i would believe that oh my god that mountain right there that's the one that jesus was on when the disciples was going to sleep at the bottom <laughs> that one right there in sedona you know that's how holy it feels to me in sacred like i enjoyed it i enjoyed it so much yeah, I know you did meet that high yourself out there. You coming? Yeah, I'm cooking. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cook. It's going to be my vegan food because, you know, I, I wanted before COVID to have a vegan truck. And I had my um, local and everything. I don't know if y'all ever seen it on here, but it was called, it is called, I don't want to say it was. It is called Melanated Vegan. Sometimes I wear the shirt with a little vegan lady on it. Well, that's actually me. And she's eating a mango. That's a picture of me with her hair like this. Anyway, yeah, that was my vegan truck idea. But COVID came and the New Orleans got wiped out. You know, nobody was downtown New Orleans. And that was going to be the place that I was going to be. So I changed my mind about that. And so now with my retreats, I want to cook for the people that come out there because I learned so much about the oils, about the fruits and vegetables and stuff that I want to, even if I don't cook it all myself, I want to be able to say, hey, we're using this kind of oil. We're going to have this here herb up in there because I know what it does to electrify the, the body. Yeah, I want the dish you tagged me in. Oh, okay. Oh, the salmon. Okay. With those... um vegetables and stuff okay we could have that for the retreat if you come in we gonna we gonna have that on the menu 
You, you got to come, though. That's the deal. I got. I can finally get a chance to see my Dion in uh, Sedona. But, yeah, just order it. Oh, hey, Tiffany. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Retreat sounds heavenly. Gina. Oh, Gina, it'll be so heavenly if you come. You got to come, Gina. Gina, I got to meet you. I don't know if it's going to be at the retreat or where, but we got to meet one day. We gonna meet one day. I, I'm already living in the end of the wish fulfilled. Yeah, Dion. I was talking about my new product called Be Fresh. Be Fresh is a natural deodorant. It is dehydrated key lime peel. Dion, you gonna see the um, the TikTok about it, and it works. It works. It detoxes. It, it's a powder form. It gets rid of. Fungus, yeast, parasites, anything that's underneath that armpit that's been sluggish and won't move. It'll help the body detox, get rid of lactic acid buildup. And it's just natural and good for you. If you don't want to put it underneath your armpit, Dion, you still got to get it. Because you got to put it in your tea or your drink after you work out. <laughs> you got to get this in your life, Dion. Dion is on my website. You know where my website at, Dion. So I made this out of love. That's why I have been missing. It's what I was telling people because I was doing that on my website, creating a lot to um, to be able to sell that in my new BPH balance for the vagina to keep the vagina in a healthy range so it could get rid of yeast and parasites or whatever may be causing issues for the vagina for women because as a woman, you know, your vagina out of balance, your whole day messed up. Your nerves bad. You know, when you're, when it's that time of the month, your nerves bad and you're cramping and it's like, you ain't worrying about being conscious on that day. You conscious of that vagina is all you conscious of. <laughs> okay, that was probably too much information right there. <laughs> My God, dang. This is the photo of life? Wow. Somebody gave me life. <laughs> I got, I got to get it. Oh, okay. So I can put it in a drink as well. Yep. Tiffany, how about that? That's how organic my deodorant is. You could put it underneath your armpit if that's what you're buying it for. Or you could put it in your tea, add some agave to it, baby. You could, you could eat it. Yes. It's organic. It's dehydrated key lime peel powder. That's it. That's it. And I have key lime peel powder up in here. This is mango key lime peel powder. I got some liquid key lime juice, water, and some agave. And some pink Himalaya sea salt and some liquid coconut oil. That's it. That's what this is. It is right here. In one in one glass. And that's what I drink. That's what I was drinking today for my so-called breakfast. I got up a little bit late because I was up to about four o'clock this morning finishing my website. So yeah. So yeah, Tiffany, you can drink it. You can drink it. I need some beard oil and wash. Yep, and I just made some beard oil. And I have some soap available on my website. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up on my game over here, Dion. Are you up on the order, though? Do I see that order on here, though? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Let me see. I will. Go get me an order together. Yeah, yeah, you get that order together, babe. So what's the benefit of eating it? The benefit of eating it is pretty much the same benefit as um, drinking uh, key lime juice. Like really, key limes are really beneficial, but the peel has even more potent benefits in that it's anti-cancerous. The key lime peel powder is anti-cancerous and that's why it's the perfect form to put underneath the armpit because most often they're not, this is where, you know, like the people in the morgue, when they cut open the bodies, it'd be a lot of yeast. Yeast build up, suffocating the people, right? So getting it in the, you know, the lipnoids allow those toxins to be released and allow the body to go into detox mode. You know, you start to have regular bowel movement. Um, you start to stop smelling, or you stop smelling, but drinking it, it's going to do the same kind of thing in the inside, right? It's going to clean up the gut is what it's going to do. It's going to leave that ash behind and make the gut, the large and small intestines, more alkaline, right? And so it's going to regulate the bowel movement on the inside and get those that old fecal matter that was just 
chili on the side of the Lord in small intestines, get it to come out. It's going to flush you out. It's going to leave you with a high amount of vitamin C. And even those people with COVID, you know how they was bending over by the, um, the stove, breathing in all the little citrus fruit, that, that sweet but yet tart aroma, just the aroma itself was opening up their passage way for them to breathe, right? Wait, let me charge up my phone. My phone trying to die on me. But, come on. Is it charged? Okay, there it is. But yeah, and it get rid of lactic acid build up. Vitamin C is good for your skin. It helps you with magnesium. Magnesium is needed. It gives you magnesium because of the green. Remember green, key lime, chlorophyll, magnesium is present. When you see those colors, it helps to cleanse the blood. When you see green things, this is why green leafy ones, they're in line with the heart chakra. You know, it helps to clean, cleanse the blood because it promotes circulation throughout the body. It's going to circulate the blood as well as circulating the lymphatic system. Dion, it's the thing to do. <laughs> you can't go wrong with it. It's going to move that mucus. It's going to, key lines are actually good for the um, pineal gland also, the third eye. Decalcifying it because it's moving calcium or hardening out of the body because it's making magnesium more plentiful than calcium and you're supposed to have more magnesium than calcium so you won't be walking around like an old lady a man with stiff joints it's just so many benefits it's like why not it should be the question why not because i drink key lime i try to drink it at least a little sip of it early in the morning every other day or so I used to drink it every day, but I'd be so busy now with my schedule that I do maybe every other day. But I try to make a gallon of key lime aid, you know, and have it in the refrigerator. So when I am busy on that day, then I could just get a little sip, you know, because I'm mostly hydrating with water out here. You got to drink water out here because I'm in the desert, right? So anyway, how much coconut oil do you drink daily? I heard it helped with the whiteness on the tongue. Um, coconut oil, I probably put maybe about two tablespoons in my gallon jar. So I guess I'm only drinking what's in my cup. So it's like not that much. In this cup, I directly pour the coconut oil in it. So I probably have a, maybe a teaspoon today of it. But you don't necessarily have to uh, drink the coconut oil every day if you don't want to. Once you... Cause like with me, it's in my system already. Once you get going in your system, you don't because everything becomes, you know, lubricated, so to speak. So my bowel movement and everything is regular. I would say you would do it every day in the beginning, you know, when you first start. And yes, it does help get rid of the white stuff off of the tongue. But keep in mind, the tongue is a mirror of the gut. And so if there's something white on the tongue, it's letting you know that there's something that's stagnated inside of the gut. Or the Lord and small intestines or something like so in that sense I would say swallowing some of it or the key line and or the key line to clean up the gut even at a deeper rate instead of just putting it on a tongue and even for brushing your teeth in the morning sometimes I put the coconut oil just like after I brush my teeth I'll just put the coconut oil the solid version in my mouth and I'll do oil pulling with it and it kills bacteria inside of the mouth and then I spit it out. I don't spit it in a drain. I put it in like a little Ziploc bag and then I throw it away in the trash because it'll sort of fly again and it'll clog up the drain. But um, it don't really matter with the coconut oil how much because that ain't nothing but good old amino acids and healthy fats and you're gonna just expel it out. The body is smart and connected to those um, things of the earth, of nature. It'll expel out what it don't need, right? But if it needed, it, it's gonna keep it in there and make use of it if you're lacking in it. It's just the body just kind of like holds on or tucks away toxins because it, it, 
you know, it'd be trying to save your life. So it'll tuck it away and put it on the side and build up fat deposits around it because it shouldn't have been kind of like in there. So it'll tuck that away. But when you start incorporating like coconut oils and key lime oils, even those things that were tucked in fat deposits, it starts to expel because now the body has the energy and every mineral that it needs to push that thing out of there and give you a better quality of life. I hope I answered your question. So I just started talking about all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Do I get a handwritten thank you letter? Yes, you do. It's going to be on a card. And I'm going to say I appreciate you. And then I'm going to put a little smiley face. Yes. Yes. I put that on. I said that in my products. Anything you tell me I need. I'm down to try. There you go. There you go. And really and truly, this is not, this is like I was saying earlier, this is the least expensive product on the website. But Dion, seriously, you need it in your life though. You need to try this as a, a deodorant, actually. I would say at least get one of it. So that way it'll be the detox you in your abdominal cavity. Because like we're losing weight and stuff and exercising and stuff, you want to make sure this inside of this abdominal cavity is healthy as well. From from maybe the days when you did put antiperspirant on, maybe the days when you did put that zest soap on that's full of chemicals. You want to get that stuff out of there. You want to allow your lip noids to be able to flow freely without any toxins in there. And this is a really good detox. And even if you just do it one time, and I'm not in it, you know, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the people and the quality of help and, and allowing this to become a lifestyle, you know? So, does it matter if the coconut oil is cold pressed? Yep, I experienced clogged drains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does matter. It needs to be extra virgin, unrefined, cold pressed coconut oil. Unrefined unrefined don't get nothing refined unrefined you want it to taste like it you want it to be the real deal don't get the cheap stuff mm -mm. you need the real deal because that's where the jam-packed amino acids or that's where it's more antifungal antimicrobial antiparasitic antiviral you, you need that in your life you need the mamma jamma don't go for the little weak stuff just like with me any what i was talking about with the fruits how the people for covid was breathing over grapefruit peels and, and oranges and lemon like for me i have a video on my tiktok i was breathing over a pot of key limes because if you're gonna go if you're gonna do this organic then go for the main one that's really have the punch in it don't go refined, go unrefined. Don't fool with no lemon. Get the key lime. That's the master one right there. With jam packed with more minerals that a lemon or a grapefruit would have on its best day. <laughs> the seeded key lime, that's the one. It trumps it all. That's why I made my deodorant from it. It's, it's the most powerful one. That's how I look at things. You go for the most powerful thing. When I'm seasoning my food, I'm going for the cilantro to get rid of all the heavy metals that I possibly could have gotten. I'm going for the water press, the superfood. I'm going for the dandelion. Clean that liver out. It might be bitter and nasty, but guess what? I only have to eat it this here one little time, but I can feel it working, and I know it's jam-packed with everything that I need. So, yeah, I like to go for the real strong one. I don't play around with them little things. The only, I don't even eat lemons. Let me show you what, look, this is the only, the only kind of lemon I got in my life. And it ain't even real. <laughs> it just messed the kitchen. I don't fool with lemons. No, nah, the lemon don't, mm -mm. It's cute though. I like the color of it. It's cute, but it ain't powerful enough. I'm going to go for the master, the key lime. Take me to your leader. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Thank you. Is key lime and lime the same? No, it's not. Key lime is small, tiny lime with a seed. Limes or no. The limes are most often seedless. Kind of like lemons be seedless. And no. They're not the same. One was made up of, upon the life of the other. Kind of like people in the physical reality. You know, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. You know, like the black people, 
you know the x and y chromosome so to speak everything have different levels you know the uh, dominant trait recessive trait everything is vibrating at a different frequency all is god but it's all vibrating at a different frequency i'm just saying yeah, i like to deal with the god that's really potent that i'm not potent kind of god i'm not present kind of god you know omnipotent kind of god that's the one i'd be like well, you know, let me get a Something from that tree of that life right there. Um, I want to taste off of that fruit. <laughs> if I'm a fool with it, might as well. Yeah. What's your YouTube channel? I can't seem to find your page. Hey, Gentle Strength. I like that name. Um, it's sort of the earth publishing. If you go to my picture on you on TikTok, they have a black triangle that will bring you directly to my YouTube channel right now. Tiffany says, gotcha, yeah. And so that's how I just look at things. And outside of that, that's my physical matrix, how I program my mind to think about the foods or whatever. But then when I just want to just be, you know, I just bless whatever it is. You know, if I happen to want to eat a lemon one day, which I really don't honestly care for them because they're not in my mind as jam-packed with minerals. But if I wanted to, I bless it. And I look at it as if it can do the same thing that um, the key lime can do because my energy is present to transform it, to be what I want it to be because it's in my kingdom. <laughs> and so that's how I manipulate the energy in my head when I don't maybe have that other thing that I, that I needed at the time, right? You are so welcome. Hey, Space Cakes. That's cute, Space Cakes. Okay, so anyway... I'm about to get, I'm about to um, update some things on my website and, and go drop off some of these uh, orders that I had on yesterday that came in while I was busy trying to put this here new stuff on the website. So in any case, this video was from my heart to yours. Take care of your avatar, baby. If you don't even buy the, the, the order, and I'm not here for the sales, I'm here as an indicator from your subconscious mind, a reminder from your subconscious mind that you're God, that you can be, do, or have anything that you want in the physical reality. And so you should let no thing separate you from the love of God. That means the love of you loving yourself. And if it takes you to have to use a product to get you there, to get you to a more pure state of being, to get you to change your mind, to change your thought, to change your life, then so shall it be. But I'm not going to keep on, I'm not going to stop on coming on this particular app, telling you, reminding you, inspiring you that you are God. The kingdom of God is within you. Be blessed, babe, from my heart to yours.